Hey guys, welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews, and I know I've said this before, but boy am I really happy to finally be back home. In this episode, I just wanted to give you a quick recap of the Samsung Developer Conference that I attended actually just a few days ago, because there's a lot of exciting stuff to come, and not only for the channel and the Jibber Jab family, but for the watch face community, and I would even say for all Samsung users in general. Now, Samsung actually invited myself and Peter Blade to the conference to promote both the JibberJab channel as well as his rapidly growing MyGalaxyWatch.com website, which is also now the go-to site for watch faces, uh, reviews, themes, industry news, interviews, and of course that awesome custom-built watch face emulator that Peter's created and really you can't find anywhere else. Anyways, the conference was a real blast and I encourage any of you that have an interest in developing apps, software, or even a general interest in technology to check out a future conference because I can guarantee you will not only be blown away by the technology, but the super talented people and you will leave inspired to create something because all the tools are there to help you succeed and there's really an opportunity to create something for pretty much any of the product lines that Samsung sells and of course you also have that invaluable networking opportunity too. And I'm not just saying that because Samsung invited me, I really mean it. I felt energized after the conference and like I said at the start, there's going to be a lot of exciting stuff coming up soon for the channel and of course all of you. Okay, now I'm gonna give you a brief summary of what was discussed at the conference, some video of the exhibit hall, including the newest technologies coming up, as well as some of the vendors and Samsung partners that were invited to the conference, and then I'm gonna end the episode with some of the developers that dropped by the booth to say hi, and these were hugely popular developers, and then I'm also going to have finally announce the winner of the Samsung swag bag, which was for my 10,000 subscriber video that I posted a few weeks ago. All right, so starting things off with the conference, first of all, it was really well attended. We're talking about over 5,000 attendees. There were 60 technical sessions. There were 35 booths, including, of course, the Jibber Jab and My Galaxy Watch booth, as well as some very informative and inspiring keynote presentations. Okay, so the theme or the slogan of the event this year was titled, Where Now Meets Next. So Samsung was really reinforcing this by showcasing all the technologies that they've had designed to empower developers and creators to build the software and services of tomorrow. And yes, I know that sounds like a very romantic way of looking at it, but I'll tell you what, there was a lot of cool stuff announced here. For example, for the first time ever, Samsung is opening up the Bixby for developers so they can create tools to strengthen what they call the Samsung ecosystem, which ties all the other smart products lines together into one, from the Galaxy Watch to the new upcoming home speaker, to even the appliances and other devices in your home. And this will all be done with improved user interfaces, which Samsung says, and I quote, will make interactions with your devices more natural so that you can focus on the task at hand. Now a good deal of the presentation was spent explaining all the tools and the resources that will now be available to developers so that they can take the foundation which Samsung has built in terms of new hardware and software and then really enhance both of these even further with the developer skills, their creativity, and of course this shared ecosystem vision. Now they really saved the best for last in the presentation because for the first time ever they revealed what the new foldable phone from Samsung's gonna look like. And this new device will have the Infinity Flex display, which is actually being touted as a revolutionary foldable design, and it's really going to lay the foundation for an entirely new kind of mobile experience, and I would definitely agree there, because it's been designed to open like a book, so that it basically transforms into a small tablet, or what's been termed a phablet, which is kind of funny. Now, unfortunately, there wasn't an opportunity for the audience to actually get a hands-on view of the device, as it's still several months away from being officially launched, but man, does this thing look cool. And no prices were mentioned, but it will be considered a flagship device when it's released, so I would assume that that would be in the $1,200 to $1,500 range, as it would slot in more closely with Apple's high-end devices. 
Okay guys, that's just a quick recap of the keynote presentation which really seemed to energize and inspire their developers because now they're going to have access to a bunch of new development tools that they didn't have before. So I think we're really going to see some exciting apps and software tools coming out in the near future to really utilize and take advantage of all the new technologies and advancements that Samsung's really invested in lately. And as I said before, the exhibit hall was actually packed with Samsung partners and other companies offering tools and services to complement the wide range of Samsung devices available now. And our booth also had a really steady flow of attendees coming by to learn about promotional benefits of both the channel and the website that Peter's developed. But my favorite part was definitely interacting with the viewers that came by to say hi and of course the developers that dropped by to show their support for what we're building here. And for me that was really the best part because again this is for the Watchface community and in the end we all benefit by the support and the connections that we build together. Okay guys, and now the part that you've really been waiting for, and of course I'm talking about picking the winner of our 10,000 subscriber celebration. Now I used a random generator to pick the winner, just so you guys can see that it was all done completely fair and unbiased. And so let's click it here and get started. And the winner is, there we go, Alan McLean, congratulations. Please send me an email, I've left it in the video description so you can uh, contact me and then I'll put you in contact with Samsung and then we'll have that swag bag shipped out to you. Okay guys, that's it for today's episode. Again, I just want to give you a very quick recap of how the conference went and I also want to let you know that we're going to have a lot of exciting things happening here on the channel soon, both in terms of new content as well as giveaways, both here and on the newly rebranded MyGalaxyWatch.com website. So make sure you sign up there for more chances to win goodies too. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and I'll catch you in the next episode.